Hello and welcome to another edition of How To K2. Today we're going to be talking about working with smart objects via their API. The easiest way to interact with smart objects via code is by using the source code.smartobjects.client assembly. This assembly allows you to get a handle to your smart object and then simply set some properties and call the methods. Today we're going to be walking through this process interacting with the assets smart object that we created in a previous video. In this example, what I'm going to be doing is simply connecting to the smart object and having it return a list of values in a field. There are many other ways to interact with smart objects and many other methods to use. I just wanted to give you a starting point, so let's take a look at doing this. The first thing we need to do is add some references to the source code.hostclient API and source code.smartobjects.client as well as adding some using statements for them. Now we need to create a smart object server client object as well as establish our use of the connection string builder. This will allow us to establish the host name, port, and some other authentication parameters. Once done, we can open the connection to the K2 server. And once we have that K2 connection, we can get a handle on the asset smart object. Now let's call the method we wish to use. In this case, it is the get assets list and have it return the list of values in the property host name. Now as long as there are values to write out, it will loop through and write them to the console. Now we simply close out the connection. We don't want to leave that hanging. Next, let's just build this and show you how it works through our console window. Let's click build it is building and it's done. So let's flip over to our console window and see what this is actually going to look like in action. We're going to run the assets console and it's going to go out to the smart object and return these values and write them to this window. Once done, there we go. We have a list of all of the host names in my asset database. Now this is a very simple example, but it shows you that you can use the Smart Object API to interact with the Smart Object very easily. I would encourage you to play around with this and see what else you can do. But for now, let's move on to our next demonstration. In this next part, we're going to be using a SQL Data Source Control. 